Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday, August the 7th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 7, the second day, to spread the spirit of love and harmony. The order sets out, in the name of Christ, to break down barriers between people and to seek equality for all. We accept as our second aim the spreading of a spirit of love and harmony among all people. We are pledged to fight against the ignorance, pride, and prejudice that breeds injustice or impartiality of any kind. Lord Jesus, in your servant Francis, you displayed the wonderful power of the cross. Help us always to follow you in the way of the cross and give us strength to resist all temptation. To you, Lord, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, be all glory forever. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is our light and our life. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 88. O Lord, my God, my Savior, by day and night I cry to you. Let my prayer enter into your presence. Incline your ear to my lamentation. For I am full of trouble. My life is at the brink of the grave. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I have become like one who has no strength. Lost among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave. Whom remember you no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the depths of the pit in dark places and in the abyss. Your anger weighs upon me heavily, and all your great waves overwhelm me. You have put my friends far from me. You have made me to be abhorred by them. I am in prison and cannot get free. My sight has failed me because of trouble. Lord, I have called upon you daily. I have stretched out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Will those who have died stand up and give you thanks? Will your loving kindness be declared in the grave, your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Will your wonders be known in the dark, or your righteousness in the country where all is forgotten? But as for me, O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why have you rejected me? Why have you hidden your face from me? Ever since my youth, I have been wretched and at the point of death. I have borne your terrors with a troubled mind. Your blazing anger has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me all day long like a flood. They encompass me on every side. My friend and my neighbor you have put away from me, and darkness is my only compassion and my only companion. O oh Lord, when we are plunged into the darkness of despair, make known to us the wonders of your grace, for you alone are God, and from you comes all our help and strength. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When they came to the disciples, they saw a great crowd around them, and some scribes arguing with them. When the whole crowd saw him, they were immediately overcome with awe, and they ran forward to greet him. He asked them, What are you arguing about with them? 
Someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I brought you my son. He has a spirit that makes him unable to speak, and whenever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, but they could not do so. He answered them, You faithless generation, how much longer must I be among you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. And when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. It has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you are able to do anything, have pity on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you are able, all things can be done for one who believes. Immediately, the father of the child cried out, I believe, help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to him, You spirit that keeps this boy from speaking and hearing, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he was able to stand. When he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, This kind can come out only through prayer. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for the church throughout the world. We pray today for churches that are struggling in this time of pandemic. For churches that struggle because they cannot come together. That struggle because they cannot do things the way that they were used to doing them. We pray for those churches that do not have the resources to do things in new ways. We pray for the Anglican Communion throughout the world, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupertsland, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We pray for our church leadership, for our Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. We pray for all who confess the name of Christ. Fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for those whose lives are bound in mutual love and for those who live in celibacy. We pray for married couples. We pray for married couples, especially at this time where there is added stress and strain. We pray that relationships will remain strong, that people will find new ways of being together. 
We pray for those in celibacy. Most especially this day, our brothers and sisters in the first and second orders. Be their joy and their strength. Lord, hear and have mercy. For all in danger, for those who are far from home, prisoners, exiles, victims of oppression. We hold up today those who have been forced to live apart because of the pandemic, families that are split because of borders, families that must separate because of isolation, those suffering from the effects of oppression, racism. Grant them your salvation. Lord, hear and have mercy. For all who are facing trials and difficulties, for those who are sick and those who are dying, we pray today for those affected by COVID-19, for their families and friends. We pray for those in our hospital or our nursing homes, those awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. Show them your kindness and mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for one another. Most especially this day, we pray for those who reach out and work with the marginalized, with the hurting, with the sick, with the dying. We pray for our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for scientists and researchers, social workers, mental health workers. In this community, we pray for 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Helping Hands, and the Bear Clan. May we always be united in service and love. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray to be forgiven our sins and set free from all hardship, distress, want, war, and injustice. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray today for those who are struggling from the effects of poverty or homelessness, for those who have little, for those who have nothing. May we discover new and just ways of sharing the goods of the earth, struggling against exploitation, greed, or lack of concern. May we all live by the abundance of your mercies and find joy together. Lord, hear and have mercy. May we be strengthened by our communion with all Christ's saints. Lord, hear and have mercy. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray today for the province of Asia Pacific, for Queensland A, Queensland B, Northern New South Wales regions. We pray for Jeffrey, Gary, Allison, Kate, Armando, JD, Adrian, Gwendolyn, Edie, Ricardo, Jocelyn, Jocelynson, John, Nancy, Terry, Carmen, Lucinda, Patricia, and Ted. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being in together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, fed the hungry with the bread of his life and the word of his kingdom. Renew your people with your heavenly grace, and in all our weakness sustain us by your true and living bread, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May the Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.